findings yielded nothing. I am still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly, clearly humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice, as they would pr uh, prove less of a hassle to acquire. Uh, oh, dear. like everything I can find out here. Uh, aha! I haven't got the slightest idea what the hell these things are. I'm not even actually bothering to read them. Probably should. Oh, good. Oh, what's this? Flow, is, uh, flow cycle rod. Ah. In the if the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meter should read up A and down A. Make sure the follow uh, the flow is set according to the following chart. Uh -huh, mm -hmm. Okay. Note that the machine will not check proper configuration until all rods are inserted. So I take it there's two more rods. Scare me again. I'm gonna regret saying that. Alright, so. Study is done, looks like. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, is it close? Oh, wait. Oh, dear. Oh, that was just a shovel. I did this searching for my journal or something else was in here. It doesn't look like anything is now, unless I can open doors. 
2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. I love it when the reading is done for me. Everything is pronounced how it was meant to be pronounced. It's terrible at pronouncing things. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, damn it. Daniel? What? Still having nightmares, I see. Yes. I can't shake them. They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. You'll see. Oh. 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, we covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Oh, wow. Crowbar. Oh, nothing can fail me now. to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar which I had prepared to